Tonga Tapu is the main island in the South Pacific Kingdom of Tonga and the first place in the world to see each new day. Unique amongst its neighbours, Tonga is the only country in the region that's never been colonised. 172 islands in three groups make up the archipelago ruled by King Taupa Ahahu Tupo IV. But recently, one island group, Vava'u, was given a new semi-independent Ulukalala, or king. Before installation of the new ruler, the capital staged its annual agricultural show, a reflection of the inherently fertile soil of the small kingdom, with produce from many of the Vava'u Isles on display and waiting to be judged. The show, which lasts for three days, is also an excuse for a festival of song and dance, with many groups contributing, but the highlight is always the presence of the king. From the 10th century, Tongan society developed a lineage of sacred chiefs, who later became rulers or kings. The present monarch has descended from George Tupo I, and he ascended to the throne following the death of his mother, Queen Salotti, in 1965. Apparently, the 73-year-old king's eyesight has become weak, so the royal doctor prescribed the ski glasses to cut down the glare from the sun. The king's grandson and his son, Prince Lavaka Atta, took back seats as the ceremonies focused on the sovereign. If this day belonged to the father, then a very special privilege had been bestowed on the son, and his day of ceremony was soon to come. Following the agricultural show and at the same location, the prince would become the official leader of all the 50 Vava U Islands, and their 20,000 people, the new Ulu Kalala. But first came the royal inspection and tour of the showground. Once dubbed the Friendly Isles, Tonga, through its ruler, has a political system that is less than friendly to the concept of majority rule. The monarchy is supreme, and it opposes any change to the system by saying that a royalty-dominated government can react to the needs of the people more quickly than a government of parliamentary democracy. So far, his philosophy and majesty enjoys the respect of the people and their musical offerings. Even the local transvestite brought his culture to the proceedings, along with the colourful hip dancers. As an offering of deep respect for the royal family, 650 pigs were prepared for the occasion, sacrificed, cooked and trucked in from local villages. They were laid out in traditional style in rows, with their feet pointing skywards. Although it's more than 20 years since the last Ulu Kalala died, all the islanders participating in the ceremony wore black as a mark of respect for him. Indeed, royal leaders are held in such reverence that when the present king succumbs, there will be a year of strict mourning. Everyone will wear black, gospel music will be played on the radio, and there will be a ban on all parties or dancing. Anyone who breaches the rule will be arrested and tried. 
But on this day, the celebration was to light, and so the carver plant, a form of peppermint, was brought into the showground, another tradition. Then Prince Lavaka Atta, the putative leader, joined his villagers in a ceremonial dance around the king, singing about the carver ritual that followed. Every aspect of this procedure watched in fascination was performed by hereditary office bearers. Such is its significance. The extracted juice or carver drink was then offered to the king by a slightly worried looking granddaughter. The royal sipping of the drink signified the prince's official elevation to Ula Kalala of Vavau. And the climax to the whole ceremony came when the new leader accepted the carver and the great honor bestowed on him. Later, the prince celebrated with members of his own village with festivities continuing well into the night, and another landmark in Tongan history was over. <laughs>